What is up, YouTube? Brandon here again, bringing you a deck profile of Spencer DeGrazia's Angel Feather deck, Metatron build. Alright, so for Metatron, if you want to start out, you gotta run Crimson Heart Nada. She's the beginning of the ride chain. She's basically Criff for Angel Feathers. She doesn't have any other effect than that, so you just start out with that. And this deck, four Sunny Smile Angel, the heel of the deck. Um, it's the same thing as Lorenzo Mage. Um, she's a booster. She gets six play power. She goes back in the deck. With Angel Feathers, it's actually really abusive, unlike OTTs, because with this kind of deck, you're also allowed to get them from the damage zone and recycle. You can almost get many, many, many heals a game. And even when the Celeste skills come out and the other heal trigger comes out, this will still be the best skill trigger to use in the game. Four critical hit angel. It's your standard crit. Um, she goes into soul, you get plus three. I only run four criticals in this deck. Because with a lot of the boosting you do with the uh, Pegasus units and everything, the extra crits would be helpful, but you need to make room for other things that allows the deck to run a lot scarier and deal a lot more damage and put on a lot of pressure in the late game with four Happy Bell No CL, the stand trigger. When you have Pegasus, when you have um, Million Ray Pegasus and uh, the Phoenix Calamity Flame, when you're able to use Metatron's effect in, conjun in conjunction with like Happy Bell or, or even Happy Bell No CL, Love Machine Gun No CL, or uh, Dr. Right Micros, you're able to really hit for those big numbers. And if they're able to guard that using a lot of guards in the late game, and you're able to attack a Metatron, and you hit a heal trigger and stand them, you can almost, if you have three activations, it's a 21. That's a lot, that's able to break through and hit magic numbers against really powerful vanguards like a Sarah Kaiser or a uh, regular Maelstrom. And then I have four Fever Therapy Nurse to draw trigger. Really important in this deck because of the way the ride chain for Metatron works. Put it into damage, you can flip it down and give your Vanguard plus three. In a late game, that can be really efficient if you don't have a booster behind Metatron because it can still allow her to get the 22, which may not be enough to do the 10k against cross rides, but it allows you to get 10k against Majesty Lord, Majesty Lord Blaster. And as important as the Vanguard as that guy is, you need to be able to hit 22 with him, even if you only have a single unit. Standard grade one, you have Pure Keeper Recreal, the Perfect Guard. Nothing really to say about these. You run four, you always have four. It's every deck ever created. Uh, Crimson Mind Bar Baruch, the grade one for the Crimson Ride Chain. She has the same ability as the uh, Fever Therapy Nurse Draw Trigger. You put it in the damage zone, you put it face down. It'll give Vanguard plus three. Other than that, she's not much. She's a solid 7k booster. Four thousand ray Pegasus, the beat stick of the deck. It gets plus two whenever a card goes into your damage zone, either on your turn or your opponent's turn. It's just really powerful. Like I said, with Metatron, it becomes an 11k booster. Not many other cards can get up that high. The only other card that can beat this in normal circumstances is another Angel Feather card, and it's a Celestial that boosts for 12. So you're not going to get much better than this, and that's only with one Metatron. If you have Love, Love Machine Gun No CL, or you have Doctorate Micro, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's it's a needed, it's the best booster for Angel Feathers. Two Doctorate Micros with Love Machine Gun and Metatron, it basically allows you, if you're at three damage, you make off the limit break for Metatron and allows you to really throw back crit crit uh, criticals or stands back in the deck. It allows you to put heals back in the deck. It allows you to cycle through your damage on really fast, unflip damage. And it really allows you to manipulate what you want in your hand, what you need in your hand, and what you need in your damage zone to make sure Metatron gets the maximum amount of power to all of your rear guards. And then make sure you're allowed to get the units that you need, when you need them, how you need them, why you need them. Whether it be a 10k shield for an attack you know is coming next turn, or a perfect guard to guard against a powerful vanguard, or if it's just to get just a simple grade one that you need boosting. So, I play two. You can play up to three. I wouldn't recommend four, but two seems to work really good right now. And then, just attack one battle cube with no CL. She doesn't do really good in the Metatron deck because it doesn't allow her to get power like in the Sem Shield um, build, which I would recommend at least three, maybe four. But one works here. It allows you for the early game save a Calamity Flame maybe from a 16k attacker. And also, it still allows you to get those units you need from the damage zone and get extra units you might need.
grade two, you have Crimson Dried Aphrodite, she's the grade two of the ride chain, you ride her, and when you have Nados and you have a Baruch in the rear guard, you can soul charge all of them, and Superior call a Metatron from the deck. And just like all the rest of the chain, she has the same effect, if she's in the damage, you can flip her face down and get Vanguard plus three. Other than that, not much to say. She's just your standard 9k beater. If you're running the ride chain, you run four. My favorite card in the entire game, Love Machine Gun No CL. It's the it's the Rekka Avatar. It's a good double R double R or double R foiling pattern. <laughs> all other angel feathers, for the most part, other than Calamity Claim, are all blue. And she was the first one that was red, and it made it a lot better. She's a, just a standard AK beater. But because of her effect, because of Metatron, because of Dr. Micro, because of the Pegasus units, because of Calamity Flame, and even because of Sam Shell, if you want to run that particular build, it just allows for maximum power increase amongst your entire board. It allows you to unflip damage, it allows you to get perfect guards, it allows you to get shields, it allows you to get units. You run for her no matter what build you are playing for Angel Feathers. She is easily the best toolbox card in this entire game. So, always run four, no matter what. And then I'm running three million Ray Pegasus. Again, like Thousand Ray, gets plus two whenever a card goes into damage. People will tell you to run four, and then run three Love Machine Guns, or do something else. Maybe take out the Battle Cube and put it under these. You only really need three. And the reason I'll tell you why in a second. But it's just, it's a strong rear guard attacker because it keeps getting power. So it's a 13 when you use Metatron's effect. If you have no CL and you're able to do more shenanigans, it can be a 15 or a 17. And if you have a thousand ray, a thousand ray behind it, it can just get the really absurd numbers. Now the reason why you run three is because I run three Calamity Flame the Phoenix. And that basically gives you six attackers. You only you want four thousand rays because it's the booster. But because you have three of these and three million rays, you're able to get away with just running three of each. It's the same exact effect. It's a ten thousand. It gets plus two whenever a card goes into damage zone. This is what you would want as one of your attackers because then it goes to sixteen or it goes to fourteen when you have one Metatron. Which even with Pegasus, that's up to twenty five. That breaks through cross rides. And it's just really important that you're able to get that. And then, of course, the heart and soul of the deck. I run four Metatron. Some people only run two because they get the cross ride up. I want as much consistency as possible. If I miss the cross ride, or not the cross ride, if I miss the chain ride, I want to make sure I'm able to ride this in the Vanguard. Her effect is Limit Break. Limit Break four, Cattle Lock one. Put two cards in your... Put two of your rear guards into your damage, and then take two face up cards and put them up to the field from your damage. And this allows you to boost up all of your units and allows you to attack for high numbers. She gets plus three whenever she attacks the vanguard. In my opinion, she is the best grade three that Angel Feather has currently. It's better than Curiel, it's better than Igrodial, it's better than Drill Bullet, it's better than Chief Nurse Samshell, it's better than Prophecy Celestial, it's better than Solidify Celestial. She is, this is the entire reason Angel Feathers are a competitive deck. And it's the whole reason why I wanted to build this deck, because the way you're able to do everything, the power she allows you to swing all the time, allows you to be competitive against the majority of all the high decks. So that is the Angel Feathers. All right, an enthusiastic deck profile from Spencer. Uh, guys, remember to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for more deck videos from us.